Hello! Today in front of me I have Google Pixel 6a smartphone and in this video we would like to demonstrate the top 5 pro tips and features of this device. So the first feature that we would like to review today is the fing fingerprint unlock method. So let's go ahead and enroll it. We'll open up the settings, enter the security section or security category and in here you'll find the fingerprint unlock feature. Prior to getting it enrolled, it is required that we have any kind of backup uh, screen lock method enabled. The list of possible options is pattern, pin or password. I'll go with pattern myself. Enter the pattern that I would like to use as well as confirm it. Here we are able to choose what notification content will be showed at the lock screen. I'll just leave it at show all notification content. Here we'll consent to everything that it needs and start the scanning process. So simply you lay and lift your finger onto the scanner. Make sure to slightly rotate it each time you lay it onto the sensor so the entire surface of your fingerprint will be correctly and efficiently scanned. Already, as you can see, we have successfully added the fingerprint. So let's test it out. As you can see, works without any issues at all. So, the next option that we would like to show you, or should I say that we would like to review, is called Smart Lock. It is located at the security category of settings as well. And once activated, it makes it so that your phone keeps unlocked while it's on you, while it's uh, near the any trusted place that you are what we are about to add manually or is located near any trusted device. So in here we'll turn on this toggle that is responsible for the unbody detection, therefore if the phone will uh, detect and understand that you carry it, it will not lock the screen. As well as the trusted places that you can add for it to be uh, unlocked, always unlocked near, for example, your home or office or I don't know, any, any place that you would like. Let me just drop another pin, for example, right here, let's say. And as you can see, once my device will be uh, around any of those trusted locations, trusted places, it will not lock its screen. As well as the trusted devices options, you can also configure an ad simply once any, any external device, any accessory like smartwatch or earbuds gets connected. Uh, and paired with your Google Pixel, you can just add the trusted device by tapping on this add trusted device button, obviously. Alrighty, moving on to the next tip for this video that is located at the battery category of settings. It is a very s uh, small and simple yet useful toggle. So it is called battery percentage and once active, as you can see, it will show the car current battery health state near the actual battery icon at the status bar. Therefore, if you would like to precisely know how much of the battery, how much of the power you have left displayed in percent, just feel free to activate this battery percentage toggle. The next and fourth tip is called battery saver and it makes it so that, uh, well, it disables, it terminates some of the more uh, power consuming and like performance demanding in general things, processes, any background app refresh and what's not. Therefore, if you would like to uh, conserve and preserve the battery health that you have left and to make the phone work longer for the, I mean, on the amount of power that is left to you, feel free to turn on the battery saver. And the fifth and final feature and option that we would like to show you in this video is located at the system, category of settings. Next, you want to enter the gestures. And in here we'll have the system navigation. Therefore, there are well, two types of system navigations to choose from. Gesture navigation that is currently active, as you can see, or three button navigation, which will add the three digital buttons at the bottom part of your screen, which you will use for navigation, just like so. Once active, once the gesture navigation is active, should I say, you can also slightly configure it, change its settings a little bit, for example, swipe to invoke the, invoke the assistant, 
and regulate the back sensitivity both for the left and right edge. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.